cooking one five here. I'm here with my little brother. Uh, we're doing another check-in. Um, you know, just kind of checking in. I ain't got no recipes today. We're just, just checking in, letting you know what we're up to. Uh, today I'm working on an invention of mine, uh, canned milk. Um, you know, milk's been around, you know, almost as long as a cow. Um, it doesn't keep very long. Have you ever noticed that? Like, you know, you get the milk, there's a date on there. It's usually only a week out or, you know, maybe two. Um, you know, once you open it, it's going bad in a few days. Um, I got to thinking, you know, if you put milk in a can, it, it'll last longer, you know, and you don't have to keep it cold anymore and things like that. I don't know why nobody ever thought about this, you know, until now, but, um, you know, if there's something ain't invented, I'm probably going to think of it. So, um, you know, canned milk, I, uh, I've been working on this for a while, um, but we're going to be in a grocery store near you real soon. Um, it's kind of funny. It got me thinking the other day. Um, I think people take our canned goods for granted, you know? Don't you think that? Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. you know, um, there was a day we didn't, we didn't have cans. You know, we didn't have refrigeration. We didn't have all the, you know, the luxuries we got now. Um, a lot of people don't know this, but you, you can kind of thank Napoleon. Believe it or not, I mean, you can probably thank him for it because, you know, what happened, uh, well, I think it was around 1795, uh, Napoleon, he, you know, he thought of something nobody ever thought before. He, he said, you know, you soldiers, your troops, you know, they, they marching on your stomach. You know, if they ain't got food, they ain't got nothing to drink, you know, they ain't marching very far. And I don't know if he'd done, like, some kind of experiment and he found out, like, the guys that had eaten were able to walk a little farther. I don't know. But so he said, look, <laughs> look, guys, we got to come up with something. And so he made a, a reward. I think it was about 12,000 francs to someone that could come up with a way to preserve food. And, uh, you know, it took about 15 years. I think it was about 1810 and some fella... Nicholas Appert or something like that, you know, he, he you know, kind of started using a glass jar or something and, you know, kind of went from there. Now, the aluminum can like this, I, I think, you know, everybody knows it wasn't until about 19, you know, 57 or so we had that. But, um, <laughs> you know, like I said, we, Napoleon, um, you know, a lot of people don't really think of him for that. You know, he kind of kind of gets a bad rap, you know, because being a short, angry guy, uh, you know the type. Um, but yeah, uh, Napoleon Bonaparte, you know, I don't want to get all French on you, but that was his full name. Uh, a lot of people, you know, a lot of people know him just as Napoleon. It, you know, it was easier to remember because you know, of ice cream and everything. But, um, but anyway, there you have it, canned milk. Um, you know, that's what we've been up to. That's what we've been working on. It's coming to a store near you. Um, you know, be sure and check it out. I better get back to work here. But, uh, 